so my name is Graham Alexander and I'm Professor of Herpetology in the School of Animal, Plant and Environmental Sciences at the University of the Witwatersrand. I started studying reptiles when I was eight years old. So it's been a passion of mine all my life and it's really great now to have a job where I can follow my passion. If we're just talking about land tortoises, there are 13 species that occur in South Africa, but we also have several species of terrapin, which are in the same group, and marine turtles. And so if we add those in, we've got a total of 22 species that occur in and around South Africa. There are a few species of tortoises in South Africa that are threatened now. They are of conservation concern. But the one that really stands out is the geometric tortoise. It's restricted to areas just around Cape Town, so it occurs in the, in the Feinbos. And one of the biggest problems is, it never had a very big distribution, but one of the biggest current problems is, is that human transformation of the landscape has fragmented those patches of habitat where the tortoises still exist. And there are only a few populations that are still viable. Um, but in addition to that, when fires come through, the natural system was a fire would come through and probably kill quite a few of the tortoises in the population, but tortoises from unburnt areas would reinvade. But now that we've fragmented the habitat, those patches don't have nearby populations that can come and invade and, and you know, re-establish a population in the area. So geometric tortoises is currently classified as critically endangered, which means that it has a very high chance of going extinct in the near future. So it's of big conservation concern. And nature conservation down in the Cape are working hard to try and bring in conservation measures and to conserve land where the tortoises still persist. So tortoises aren't really considered in a situation like the geometric tortoise around Cape Town as crucial components of the environment. So if a uh, geometric tortoise did go extinct, it probably wouldn't have a huge impact on the environment. But one of the areas where they can have an impact is that they are responsible for dispersing seed. And we underestimate how important tortoises are in seed dispersal. And so elements of the Feinbos uh, may well rely on tortoises for ingesting the fruit and the seeds, digesting the coat off around the seed, and that will promote germination and they would also spread the seed. So losing the tortoise might well mean that we lose some plant species as well, but we wouldn't know that straight away. It would take time and a lag effect before you know, those populations went down. So it is possible that losing a component just like a small tortoise out of a system has knock-on effects. 